Ooh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm testing out NVIDIA's Shadow Play. Yes, I am on my rather mediocre system. Uh, 1050Ti and AI5-3330. Ah, splendid. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am looking at myself in the top left-hand corner of my screen. But that's not what this video is about. Today's video is about my first time tanking in Terra. Oh yes, that dreaded tanking position that so few want to do as, quite clearly, from the queue times when you play as a healer or a DPS. So being a tank is one of those things where you need to, well, what the community perceives as needing to know the dungeon, the route to take, everything the boss does, and how to handle different situations your crew puts you in. But Terra's slightly different, it's it's unique actually. I think the Elder Scrolls Online is sort of close, but yeah, this was quite a unique experience. So let me put this um, in a bit, little bit perspective before I go into more detail. So I've been leveling my healer for this summer event so I can get some Fancy swimsuits. Hopefully the ones with the old chest slider compatibility. Although I think I got that. I think I got that with that one. But yeah. So I've been going through a dungeon. Did had an awful experience of no tank in the dungeon. Had to heal through that. But I managed to get to 58 and do the event. But my brawler was quite close to level 48. So I thought I would level him up to level 58 him is a her. You can see from that glorious buttocks over there. But one of the problems with leveling is that you need to do dungeons. There is no way around it. You have to go into a dungeon if you want to level up at a reasonable pace. Give me a copy of a. <coughs> That's better. So, I was luckily the only dungeon available to me, and the dungeon I had to do was the one that I previously did in the morning, which was, well, it was quite good. I knew what to do, I knew where to go, I knew what the bosses were like as a healer. And as a brawler, I was like in my level 40s and I've never tanked before, because when I first played it, when it first came out, I presumed it was a DPS. I think like quite a few other people presumed. To find out it was a tank only was a little bit weird. I'm just going to ignore that quest while I go do these other things so I can see the frame rate once I've completed recording this. So I went in, well after about a 10 minute queue because if you look at the time down here, deduct 7 hours from that for the proper time because I am on the US servers because I dislike Gameforge. So I got in, I looked at my group and was like, yeah okay this is good, had two Valkyries, had a what I presumed was a mystic but it turned out to be a sorcerer. And I think something else? I can't actually remember the proper group sizing. I'm no good at remembering this type of thing. But anyway, we were clearing through the dungeons. I didn't really notice too much damage coming in because I was spamming my Growing Fury whenever we got to the bosses and the actual mob packs were nothing too bad to actually deal with. Mainly it was the DPS running ahead of me and clearing everything for me. But it got to about the third boss in the dungeon where I suddenly realised I was taking a hell of a lot of damage like unavoidable AOE and my health bar wasn't going up my group was dying I was like am, am I doing something wrong here what am I missing is my group about to have a massive go at me this is the kind of thing which happens with tanking and noobs is you just instantly get booted out by here <laughs> you suck tank kick but no I bounced over my group and I was like oh shit there's no healer in the group what the hell's going on here I don't remember clicking like, don't use a proper party when I was joining. But I must have done. So we cleared out the boss, just about. I didn't die at all, because Brawler is stupid. And I... Yeah, we got to the last boss and I was asking my group, am I doing a good job here? Because this is my first time tanking, there's no healer. I can't exactly gauge what is good and what is not. And they turn to me and say, well. And I was like, Oh shit, here comes the flak. And so, beans we have no healer. Another space. He was doing a very good job. And I was like, yes. 
that gave me such a confidence boost. Went into the last boss. And basically I just spammed, what's this called? Mounting Rage. Then I went into Grove Fury and just kept spamming my abilities. Like no tomorrow. Took zero damage. My group wiped about two or three times themselves. But the boss went down. And I was quite happy with myself. I did have a shit experience shortly after that. Like my confidence was through the roof. And I had quite a shit experience. And I doubted a little bit. But overall it was quite fun. And I recommend anyone who hasn't done any form of tanking in Terra or MMOs to actually play Terra and give it a go yourself because even if you don't know what you're doing your main job is to basically take hold of the boss while leveling this is like leveling dungeon I haven't done any in end game dungeon but I presume it'd be sort of similar and you don't have to worry about what direction to go because your group will run ahead of you even without you knowing it's not like World of Warcraft where your group will stand around waiting for you to do something your group will actually go ahead and start clearing stuff for you. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. I had a lot of fun tanking. I really like the Brawler. It does seem quite overpowered compared to the old Lancer. Lancer? Is that the other tank? I can't remember. But yeah. I did have... Actually, I'll mention this before I end this. I did have a fun experience with a Lancer. I got put in a group with a, just me, a Lancer, a Mystic and a Valkyrie. The Valkyrie, of course, being in every single dungeon group I've ever done. And it was amusing to see the difference. Of course, this guy probably didn't know what he was doing. But the amount of damage he was taking, because he obviously didn't think I was a tank. He thought I was a DPS, and was wondering why he kept losing arrow because he was spamming his taunt. And I was taunting it off him, because he kept taking tons of damage, and I was taking none. So, like, going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And in the end, he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm a tank. It's like, oh. It's like, eh. he, it was like, like realization, and then he just leaves the group. I was like, okay, fair enough. Anyway, yeah, I think that's it, and I'll see how this recording turns out with the old variable frame rate, which apparently most video editing softwares cannot do. And I shall be back some point soon with another useless video. Bye-bye.